after experiencing some amazing pelagic oh fishing over the past month. This episode sees me once again giving into the summer temptation and heading back out on the deep blue in search of more game fish. Only this time, there's a twist. By the power of social media, you guys voted and ultimately picked the lures that I'll be fishing with for the day. The people's spread has been chosen. Next time on the water, I will be running these. I'll tell you what, I'm not even mad about it. All I can say is, I hope you chose wisely. Woo! Fish on! <laughs> Have a go there. Now, I'd love to use some beautiful descriptive narrating to set the scene for you here, but on this trip, the action started before our coffees had even kicked in. Let's get this out. Well, guys, the beauty of fishing. Heading out to do a spot of trolling. Already seen Spanish starting to blow up. So you got to put some lures out if that's happening. Missed him. Yeah. No. Close. Well, guys, meant to be trolling for marlin today, um, but cruising out seen some Spanish jumping all over the place so uh, you don't have to tell me twice I'll get an eater in the bag oh mackerel everywhere What is going on with these lines though? I think we've got a little crossover. A crossover indeed. The result of being overexcited and turning too tightly to follow fish caused the two lines to meet and at trolling speed, that never ends well. With the bird's nest untangled, it was back to trolling. Only this time, with a diver short on one side, another diver long out the other, and a skirt way back past both of them, down the middle. There we go. There he is. That's the one. <laughs> well, we saw them cruising around there. We saw them. It's only a matter of time. I'm surprised it took that long, to be honest. We've seen Spanish mackerel jumping all around the boat ever since we got out. So, our plans of trolling marlin took a slight detour because uh, you know you know I like a feed of Spanish, and uh, I'm hoping this is this is one. Oh, just about had a bird go through. Oh, this would be a great start to the day. This is not the plan of attack. I will have you know. We're out here doing something completely different. Executing a plan called the people's spread. Which is a whole list of lures that got chosen by you guys on social media. What have we got? Well, it had to be. 
It couldn't have been anything else. Oh, there we go, number two. We got a double hooker. We have a double hooker. Well, that's a good news story. Okay, let's get this guy in. There's one. He can lie down. Let's get number two. Have we still got him? Yep. <laughs> wow. Double hookup time. <laughs> now, the beauty of this is, obviously, we're only allowed two Spanish, oh, sorry, one Spanish per person. But today, we've got Migs on the camera. So, one each would be absolutely fantastic. And just goes to show, you always have the best laid plans, but don't forget to adjust them if there looks like there's a better one knocking at the door. And this guy just ate the lure as we were just tucking along in gear. Makes me feel bad for burning all that fuel, trolling quickly all this time. I might even come over that side. <coughs> Still got reel covers on. Oh, kit and caboodle. He's having a bit of a go. He hasn't just been eaten. I think it's still a mackerel. Turn up the heat anyway. Whew, pointy ends. Hmm. Either we've got a much bigger one on here, or a shark now. <clears throat> Could be either. Oh. Feels a bit sharky. He's gone. That's a shark. Well, that's a good little start. Double hook up. One got sharked, unfortunately. Let's have a look. We'll see what we got left. Yeah. You can see it from here. That opaque colour in the line. It's been rubbed on a shark's side. Buggers. Got to be quick. Anyways, we did manage to get one. Now, I'll show you the lure another time. I'm not holding him up with a mouthful of trebles like that. That's where the D hooker comes in handy. Calm down, mate. Calm down. D hooker, just the old. Pop those hooks. Ladies and gentlemen, have a go at that. Not bad for a little bonus mackerel, part of the double hookup. Only managed to land one before the sharks moved in. Cheeky guys. Always ruining our party. But uh, I think we're going to do one more lap, see if we can get Migs one. Then we're going to get on with our main plan of attack for the day, which is towing the people's spread. If you don't know about it, well, you're about to hear some more. Just got to catch another mackerel. Because, uh, you all know 
these things are fine eating absolutely delicious keeping this guy obviously guys so oh brain spot While I was dealing with that fish and re-rigging after the sharking, I kept seeing Spanish getting airborne all around the boat. It was definitely time to get those lures back out. There you go, fish on. That didn't take long. <laughs> well, they're around. Oh, it might be a tuna, is it? Yeah, it could be a tuna. I dare say there's more than a few species lining up to eat this bait. Oh, it might not be a tuna. There's number two. And that is dinner sorted for the weekend. Ladies and gentlemen, that is a, that's a pretty cool sequence of events. Came out. Oh, there's mackerel everywhere here. Mackerel absolutely everywhere. Well, there he is, ladies and gents, number two. He can get the same D-hooker treatment. Oh, that's why he's fighting a bit weird. Hooked in the throat. All right. Good to keep your hands away from the pointy bits. And there you have it, ladies and gents. There's Mackie number two. Now, obviously, in Queensland now, you're only allowed to keep one per person. Luckily, I've got Migs, the cameraman, with me. You want one for a feed as well, mate? Yeah, yeah, I thought you might. So, that's us. We are now officially bagged out. That is two for the boat. That's the boat limit. And, uh, well, I suppose we've almost been out here an hour, so we do deserve a good feed of fish. Well, that's a cracking way to start the day. Unplanned, unscripted, saw Mackies jumping, bang, bang, two from three. Now we can get on with the show. I think we've got some uh, more pelagics to chase. Ones with big pointy bills, hopefully, or maybe fluoro green sides. Not sure what the day will hold from here. But we're already off to a cracker. How good is that? When you start your day, a little trip to Spain times two, that's never a bad thing. How good is that? Cracking summer quality fish around that seven, eight kilo mark. Just good fun, and they're uh, great chewing. Absolutely unreal. That's the insurance policy we needed to go. Get the people spread out and uh, have a bit of fun on the troll. Anyways, these guys are now bled and brain spiked. Get them on the ice and get to work. In we go. I might slot them down under the bags for maximum chill action. Actually, even better again. Let's just make a big old ice slurry. Now this fish will be cold in absolute no time at all. Don't forget me lunch. Now guys, I was just cleaning up the boat and found this little morsel that that Spanish coughed up. That's what they're eating. Looks like a little white bait. In fact, a white bait or a froggy pilchard. Tiny little thing. Be what? Four or five centimetres long. They were getting airborne all over the place on them. Yet they couldn't say no to a 190 mil, 180 mil trial diver. Surprisingly, you wouldn't eat a skirt, but they were all over the divers. So match the hatch when it works. But it doesn't always work. Sometimes go large, stay in charge. Anyways, that's them. I like the other end of the food chain. Yeah. No good. Yeah. 
a little bit of an unplanned start but we're back on track now recently on social media i put up a post about some marlin lures and i let you guys pick which ones i was going to troll now we went through a whole selection process and i'm going to put some uh some screenshots up there so you can see how it went down i put up a whole array of fat boy lures i've got a whole spread at my disposal and these are the ones that you guys chose now we've got a c4 tube black with a bit of fluoro underlay Next, we've got the Lumo Viper. This one's actually a proven fish catcher for me. Still got some bill marks on there. And then this little fluoro pink number here as the shotgun lure. Now, we've named this the People's Spread. So you guys have chosen it. I'm gonna fish it. I said I'd give it four to six hours of trolling time to try and catch a fish on it. The kicker being, I put up a little post after that says this. How many fish do you reckon I'm gonna catch in that four to six hours? Now. However many fish I catch, whether it be zero through to three plus, I'm gonna choose a person who guessed correctly and they are gonna win this spread. I'm gonna send it out to you free of charge, of course. That's just a little sweetener to make this day even more exciting. So I hope you guys voted because it's about to go down and someone will be walking away with this awesome spread of lures. Now, usually I can only troll three lures at a time when I'm fishing solo, but I've got Migs on the camera today. So I'm gonna put my own lure in there. This is lure number four. Instead of trolling a teaser, I'm gonna troll another lure with a hook in it. I'm gonna troll this at long corner. Also have another little surprise for you today. I said I'd take this very seriously. I wanna catch a fish on the people spread. So check these new additions out. Now, usually I'd be trolling out of these guys here. These are the Relax uh, adjustable rod holders, and you can change the angle whichever way you want it. Now, I've been trolling with these guys for um, near on 10 years. Absolutely awesome. Caught so many game fish, marlin, wahoo, everything you can imagine on these. But I thought, I wanna take this people spread very seriously. So these guys are getting put away. And I'm gonna be replacing it with that. Now you may be looking at that going, oh, I get it, that's just a, uh, a fixed rod holder, you can't adjust it. Well, ladies and gentlemen, for the first time in full spread history, I have a set of outriggers. Have a go at that. <laughs> look at this, out the side. Let's, let's have a little look at that spread behind me there. I'm a real game fisherman now. That is a set of three meter relax carbon drop-in outriggers. Now the beauty of them is that they just pop straight out so they don't need to be affixed to your boat. They're nice and light, I just did that one-handed. But I'm gonna get maximum spread today. And I'm gonna give those billfish a big old hard time. I've obviously got one for the other side. I'm very excited to try these out. Not once have I ever trolled with outriggers out of this boat. So it's gonna be a, it's gonna be a great day. In you go. That just clips onto the rigging there. Not ever again will you see me on Shawno's boat. There's no need. The only reason I was going fishing with him because he had outriggers. Self-sufficient now, Shawno, watch out, mate. Oh, that looks sick! Okay, so this is how our spread is going to look. Right out the back on long rigger, we've got the five inch little rascal. On the short rigger, we've got the eight inch Lumo Viper. Then we're gonna have long corner. That is a purple Rogue. And then the C4 tube up the guts, nice and short. That's a beautiful spread of fat boys. Now I do get a lot of questions about how I rig my lures. To be honest, guys, if you don't know how to rig them, it's easier just to buy them rigged. You can buy fat boys, they come rigged with all the kit. They're stiff rigged there, really sharp hooks, sticky hooks, and the hooks are adjusted to the size of the lure. Now, they, these come on 120 pound leader. Um, they obviously come in a whole heap of different colors. Make sure you get a little bit of a range so you've got uh, some variety in the spread. And then people ask the configuration of the rods. So I use a 15 kilo rod. That's a Wilson Venom short stroker. 
Now, I used to use a lot of wind-ons and all that sort of stuff. In fact, I've got two rods still with wind-ons and doubles on there. But this year, I've gone bugger it. I'm trolling for Wahoo, Marlin, all that sort of stuff. Straight 24 kilo top shot down to a snap and you just clip your lure straight on. Bead to stop it going through your tip and that's all there is to it. I've got about 60 to 80 meters of that top shot on there. Then underneath, I've got some PE3 uh, braid. That's all there is to it, guys. Nice and simple. You don't need to overcomplicate it. Marlin fishing, marlin fishing is pretty simple if you're just getting out and have a little bit of a crack on the weekend. So don't overcomplicate it. You'll just make it harder to achieve. Same rods we use to troll for mackerel. We're using troll for marlin. And they will do that job swimmingly. Stay. There we go. All right, let's set the spread. Okay. This lure is going back to the furthest. Ladies and gentlemen, the people's spread is set. Look at this. Absolute glorious. I'm a little bit excited now. Can't wait for one of these riggers to pop. That's gonna be awesome. Finally, can do sharp turns, can turns. We'd been lucky to stumble onto some action early on there, and I was feeling pretty confident we could turn over a fish or two with the people spread. But I was also under no disillusion that, like most game fishing expeditions, hookups happen when they happen. That could mean five minutes in, five hours in, or just as likely, not at all. So with the lures in the water bubbling away nicely, I settled into my work, constantly checking the lines, the sounder, and the horizon for any clues that might lead to getting a real screaming. You just have to trust the process and keep at it. After about an hour, I found a patch of birds working some bait in about 100 metres. And well, as the saying goes, if you find the bait... Woo! Fish on! Woohoo! Oh, big dolly! Big dolly! The people spread! It's working! Woohoo! Well, ladies and gentlemen, that is a big dolphin fish. Just came across a patch of birds here. And we've just had a dolphin fish crash tackle that lure. Looks like a quite a nice one too. Done a few good jumps already. Let's see if we can get him in without too much drama here. Hopefully this can be our first First little fish here. Oh no, we got mono back. These birds are just like persisting in running into my line. I'd really hate to hook one. That would be an ordeal. But what I would love is to land this guy. I'm gonna do a bit of, bit of these ones. Come here, Mr. Mahi. 
I'd like to have a little chat with you. You know what? I can do this. Maneuverable. It will suck if he runs back around the other side of the boat, but I'm telling you what, those drop-ins are pretty handy. Just move them out of the way. Righto, here he comes. No, 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 no! Oh, don't, don't cross the lines. Don't cross around. Don't do that. You're doing it. Oh no. Well now we have an issue. Now we have a little issue. I think we've just come out of that unscathed. Thought we were gonna be in a spot of bother then. No. Oh, this fish is being the worst. Can't pick a side. Hopefully, we're about to get a shot at him here. Good fish. Here we go. Oh, he doesn't want to talk to me, that's for sure. Oh yeah! Oh yeah! <laughs> that is a cracking mate! Oh no, he's gonna go crazy! Woo! This is where you gotta be careful! Ah, stop that! Stop that! Hook out! He was going absolutely nowhere! Have a go at that. Oh, come on, mate. Come on. Have a go at that. Big mahi mahi. Just crushed a little. We're an hour into trolling. So, whoever said zero fish on that little survey I put up, you were wrong. We are at one. And hopefully, this is just the beginning. That is a cracking fish. Really good size. He's a uh, Whoa, look at that, big, big fin on him. There's nothing not to love about a big mahi-mahi. And they go so hard too. What an awesome fish. Oh, right. that is a cracking dolly. I think it's a big cow, actually, it's a big cow. Excuse me, I, I called it a bull before, but that's a big cow. Still big fin on it. In we go. Lovely. That'll do it. That will do it. 
Cheers. Well, that is one fish on the board. I don't mind pointing out, I'm not too proud. It is actually the lure I picked. That's all right, guys. I picked this one for you. So it's part of the spread. That's one fish on the board. The spread's working. An hour in, five hours to go. Let's see what else we can find. Spread's back out, back in the game. Now, all I had to do was refine that bait and see if there's anything else lurking around. That is fish number two, little pinky. That's an hour and a half in. That's two fish. Nice work, guys. You picked one. <laughs> now, I wouldn't usually keep these guys, but and they are actually not too bad eating. But because these um, no longer got gills, you may as well come with us. Now, here's a pro tip. If you're ever struggling for a bite, just get out some food for a feed. Guaranteed hookup. That's a real one. What is that? I didn't see that eat. What are you? Pinky. I think he's done it again. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we've been back in the water for about oh, five minutes since that tuna. And uh, old pink shotgun has just been slammed. Unseen fish. Unseen fish. So this could be anything. It's not, it's not all. It's not doing much now. I reckon we have a little wahoo. I have to have it, I guess. This guy hasn't done much. Yeah. Every chance he's gonna go screaming for the hills here. We've got a tuna. Another tuna. Build the tuna. We may have another tuna. Well, that's not as fun. That's not as fun. Oh! At least it's a bigger one. Let's try and hook this one in the water, I think. Now I'll de hook up. See you, Jim. Away you go. Well, that is fish number three. So we're in that last category. I didn't specify species, so you guys are in luck. Pinky, getting the attention. Not the billfish though. Still got plenty of time for a, a marlin to come along and uh, make our day. Let's get this one back out. As luck would have it, 
Only four short hours later, this happened. I'm sure you can tell by my lack of urgency that even from the hookup, I knew it wasn't the one we were chasing. Well team, little trolling update. We are just about to tick into our last hour of trolling. It was gone a little bit quiet. We just had that um, little tuna inquiry. The marlin has thus far eluded us, but if there's one thing I love to do, it's tick off those persistence fish. And uh, I feel like a persistence marlin is just around the corner here. So stay tuned. You can feel it in my nuggets, it's gonna happen. Just one more big hookup. That's all we need. See how we go. Alas, the beauty of fishing lies in the unknowns. Where are the fish? What are they feeding on? Are they active? But for this trip, we simply ran out of time to piece the puzzle together. The time is up. I even gave it an extra half an hour for good luck and it, uh, it didn't help. We didn't get any more action for the uh, day, no more hits. Saw a nice school of bait, and trolled around that for nothing. And uh, yeah, that was about it. Unfortunately, I did think we were gonna get a, a marlin. I, I could feel it, but it just didn't happen today. That's all right. We'll go out another time and give it a red hot nudge. Very happy with the new additions. Those spreads are awesome. You can do really tight turns around bait schools and we turn around and grab hats and all that sort of stuff uh, with the, uh, the outriggers because everything's so far apart, it's awesome. But for now, the northerly is picking up and we're gonna get out of here before it becomes an issue. Got some filleting to do and a boat to wash. So, time to head home. Now, you know how your outboard doesn't like salt water? Well, your reels don't either, so make sure you give them some salty captain love when you get home. I use the outboard and engine flush. It's super mild, safe on your line, and helps get all the salt off your reels and gets them ready for storage. Cheers to you guys if you haven't one. Now, that was a pretty good day on the water. Minus the marlin, of course. That would have been nice. But you can't have everything. And we ended up with a tasty feed, and that's a big win. I think the star of the show has got to go to this guy here. That's a cracking cow, really big one. Gonna be plenty of nice meat on that. Spanish, good summer size, but this guy, or girl I should say, put up a cracking fight. It's gonna make some great ceviche later on tonight. It's, uh, we're gonna fill it up the Spanish though, because I did one of these recently, so Spanish time. Job well done, and a hard out there. Well guys, that was a good bit of fun. Cool little exercise. Glad we caught some fish, because it would have been a bit disappointing if we didn't. I know we didn't get a marlin, and I still haven't caught one on the troll this year, which is starting to annoy me a little bit, so stay tuned. I'm gonna get one, yes you wait, so stay tuned for that episode to drop. Now, I know you've all been waiting with bated breath, who is taking home this spread? And I'm also gonna chuck in this one here. That's my addition, the fourth lure that I chucked in that caught the Mahi Mahi. So, four lures getting given away right now. Now, funny story, I did, um, the first name that came out of the, uh, out of the draw there was a mate of mine, Garns. Uh, and I'm not giving it to you, Garns, so I thought to myself, stuff him, I'll give it to someone else. Garns, if you need some lures, let me know, I'll, I'll sort you out. But we've got, the winner of these is Luke, Galena or Galena, mate, these are yours. Shoot us a message on Instagram and I'll uh, send them out to you. Congratulations. 
Thanks to everyone else who played along and voted. Uh, I'll look forward to doing a bit more of this sort of stuff in the future. That was uh, a good little bit of fun. Anyways, guys, thank you very much for watching this episode. I really hope you enjoyed it. Remember, if you'd like to support the channel, you can do so by heading to my website and grabbing yourself some merch. Now, for all you guys who have missed out, the trolling heads are back in stock. They went super quickly, so I know a lot of you have been chasing some more. Uh, they're back in stock now. Full restock. Check them out. Also, D-hookers are back in stock. Live bait D-hookers are also in stock. We've got shirts, hats, stickers, all sorts of stuff. Head over there and see if there's anything that tickles your fancy. Once again, Again, guys, thank you for watching. Hope you're all safe and well, and I'll catch you next week for another Sammy Hitsky fishing adventure. Cheers. I suppose we've almost been out here an hour, so we do deserve a good feed of fish.